Right, well I pulled the Suzuki out uh, to try and start it. And despite the battery being about half flat, it was cranking, 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 but not really firing. So, you know, the battery's yeah, three years old, is probably a bit, it's probably just about dead. But this is the computer. Uh, last time I was having this problem about a month ago, <clears throat> I took these connections apart, which you can do with a small screwdriver. You push down on the little retainer and you pull it out like that. Uh, the last time I was working on this, I soaked the plugs in WD-40, put it all back together, and it worked. Now the thing I'm noticing when I'm taking these out, it's got the spade type connectors in here, and it's got these spring type closure things, so there should be some resistance when I put it all together. There's not really a lot of resistance when I put that in, other than the, uh, this thing, the retainer. I'm, I'm really not feeling those things closing in, so I need to increase the spring load on those connectors a bit. It may fix it, it may not, but it's, hopefully it will eliminate any problem with loose connections at these electrical joints. So I have these uh, similar type electrical connectors. This one is much like the uh, connector that's in the socket. You see it's got two curved edges and they're sort of sprung over and it's got a flat spade type thing that fits into it and these are brand new and yeah, that's really quite a tight fit it doesn't really want to go in there I've checked the thickness of this one with the ones on the bike and they're very very similar I, in fact I would say they were the same so I'm going to do a test fit of this on the bike just to see how tight those connections are Right, so here's the bike connections. I'm going to take this test piece. It goes in, it does grip. You know, it's not going to fall out. Those four seem to be pretty good. There's three on this one. And the bottom one seems a bit looser, but even so, it's still fairly tight. So maybe it's not this, maybe it's corrosion on these. And hopefully this is wiping some of the corrosion off as well. They don't look corroded when I look in at the components. These look good. Let me see if I can increase the spring load a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these very thin pliers and go in and just give it a little squeeze on both sides. connector. Not much of a squeeze. See if that does anything. Right, so I tightened up the bottom two. Compare it to the top one. Yeah. It's definitely a little tighter. So I'm going to go around and squeeze those down with these pliers on all seven connections. Right, so I'm just checking over and they are quite a bit tighter. Right. We'll see how those work when I put them in. Mm, you can still get them in, they still fit nicely. Alright, so let's see if I got the diagnosis right. It wouldn't, wouldn't really spark my fall yesterday after a <coughs> good long crank. Well, several short cranks for a total of about a minute. See if it even fires up. That's with no choke, and I've got the fuel off too. be working. I wonder if I found it. Or did I just get lucky again? Well, it seems to be working for now anyway. I'm going to dab a little bit of grease on there. This is from my lifetime supply of grease. Should be using dielectric grease, right? I think it 
matters. Just as long as it stops corrosion. After all, these connectors are 27 years old. The first time I had them apart was about a month ago. So, hopefully that's it. Off for another 27 years.